there, it's Linda from Full Measure Zen Gary. I'm here today to show you my tips and tricks for putting together the perfect charcuterie board for the holidays. So this is a vegan twist on your traditional charcuterie board. You can mix in some vegan cheeses with your traditional cheeses. You can mix in some vegan meats with your non-vegan meats and you can have something that is suitable for all of your guests. Today, our spread is gonna be completely vegan. We're gonna use five different cheeses from our collection. We're gonna use our new ale-aged cheddar flavor, that one right in the middle. We're gonna use our creamy Swiss cheese. That one's great to pair with something spicy or something sweet. We're using our double cream brie, and we're gonna be serving that with a spicy red pepper jelly. We're also using our sun-dried tomato basil cheese. This pairs beautifully with any kind of vegan sausage or spicy, salty meats that you can find. Also our garlic and fine herb, which is a traditional Borsain style cheese that is one of our most popular flavors. And I'm gonna be using my brand new cheese board, which is my Jillian Harris cheese board from Crawford Creek that I just got in the mail yesterday. So excited. So let's get started. So we're starting by spacing out our cheeses on our cheese board in little bowls and little a little mason jar that looks really cute on this on the um, display. We want to use a variety of cheeses. We use different colors. We use different textures. So that makes it a little more appealing in taste and more appealing visually. And then we start adding in our vegan meats. So we have selected three different meats for this cheese plate. We used a fig sausage from Hellenic Farms. We used a Montrealais sausage from Gusta. And we used some sliced seitan roast from Gusta as well. So we just layer those around the cheeses. I kind of like to splay them out. We lay one on top of the other, create a little design that goes along with the shape of the cheeses and the shape of your cheese board. Here we're using green grapes, we have some red cherries, we have some dried apricots. They really give your cheese board a festive flair. So we used a little bit of red pepper, orange pepper, and yellow pepper. And once we've filled in our fruit, then we're gonna start bringing in our crackers and bread. So we used some breadsticks, we use some crackers from Pain de Fleur, some rice crackers, and some wheat crackers. So we have a selection of gluten-free crackers as well as gluten crackers. So we have something for everyone here. And then we're gonna put on the red pepper jelly. So this is a homemade red pepper jelly. You can either put it on the side. If some of your guests are not into spicy foods, you might wanna put it on the side. And then we're gonna layer in some little nuts in between the pieces. We filled in the little spaces with candied pecans and some additional little blackberries that give a pop of color. And then I laid on top some sprigs of rosemary. Sprigs of rosemary also give it a nice little holiday flair. So there you have it. Easy way to put together a beautiful cheese board for the holidays. Your guests are gonna love it. If you're looking for some other fun, easy holiday appetizer ideas, we have a great free ebook that has some really delicious, easy holiday appetizer recipes. I'm gonna leave you the link down in the description. So click on that, you'll get your free ebook.